9-11, JFK assassination, Gettysburg Address, Illuminati. What do all these things have in common? I'll tell you. Go, go, go. I'm Rod Sterling, and this is Spooky Dookie. Tonight, we will dive headfirst into the shadows of the unknown on the special Celebrity Lookalike edition to answer the age-old question. Was it a ghost? I invite you to enjoy these stories tonight, but fair warning, these irrational and highly specific events can and will happen to you. There I was, relaxing at my casa, when I heard it. It was some kind of buzzing inside of my ear. Outside, when I was planting my carnations, I noticed a big horse nest. And I said to myself, oh no, 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 no. And I sprayed all around. But no matter, I kept hearing the buzzing. And it got louder and louder and louder. And it felt as if the bees were entering my mind and trying to steal all of my secrets. So I go, are these some kind of ghost bees? No. Yes. Maybe. Definitely. So I moved. Now, I am not a coward. However, I will not share a two-bedroom condo with any kind of ghost. Let the bees have it. If my grandmother knew, she'd be rolling over on her grave. The Castanons do not associate with spirits of any kind. And so, I was on a path of enlightenment with my new house. I was happy watching Joes eating veggie <laughs> chips. In essence, I was a pure being of light. Or so I thought. My pants, they started crawling across the room. And that's when I knew, instantly, without a doubt in my mind, it was those killer ghost brain bees. They would come back to steal my things, as if my house was not good enough for them. But I began to think, maybe they missed me. Maybe I filled some kind of void for them like a long-lost lover. Not only had I shattered the universe, but also offset the balance of my entire two-bedroom condo. The bees were driven to the brink of madness. But I would not go back. I would not be their queen anymore. And so, what am I to do? But be firm in this kind of situation. I stood up and yelled at the top of my lungs. I said, leave me be, bees. This is my brain. And then, Silencio. In this moment, I transcended time and space. I stepped outside of myself into the cosmic realm. And that is when I realized I did not know where I was. This was not my house. These were not my things. That is no son of mine. I became frightened. But mostly, I was very, very sad because I knew I would never hold my wife again. Because I am dead. Dude. It was the middle of the night, and I knew something was wrong. This bad feeling kept nagging me, so I went downstairs. Now, if you know me, you know I love two things, eating pussy and eating ice cream. I have two scoops every day, like clockwork. Well, when I went downstairs, I could not believe what I saw. My entire collection, untouched, except for the strawberry sherbet. Now, this was no coincidence. Someone knew that that was my favorite ice cream. At first, I thought, maybe it's my roommate. He, he likes to do pranks and shit. Then I remembered, he's lactose intolerant. He could not touch the stuff or he'd fucking die. Was it worth it for the ultimate prank? No, only a fool would do such a thing. That's when I realized. Ghost. 
I hit up this crazy bitch on the internet. Some kind of ghost expert or something. She's talking about pterosaurs taking over the world and shit. She taught me how to set up a ghost trap. And I did. I waited all night. Nothing. The next day, nothing. Two weeks went by. I was going crazy. I spent the entire Christmas break for this ghost. Finally, there was something. What I'm about to tell you cannot and should not be recreated. Mostly because it was embarrassing. I looked at the door and it, the sound just got louder. And louder. And louder. Turns out, it wasn't a ghost. It was the ultimate prank. Good job, Frankie. You really got me on that one. <laughs> but, um, you know, while I got the cameras here, uh, I got a prank for you. I fucked Jessica. Oh, you, you weren't expecting that? I'm sorry. Hey, I guess you don't want to hear that I, I, I got a fucking pregnant, too. <laughs> hey, but don't worry, man. I, I heard she's having an abortion. Oh, what was that? What was that? Uh, yeah, fucking pranked. Yeah, I'm done. Ghosted. Oh, I didn't see you there. Guess that makes us even. Remember, ghosts are real. And together, we will get to the bottom of this. I'm Rob Sterling, the Peterson. Nobody loves Raymond, how about that one? You're giving me a headache. I'm going to bed. Take an aspirin and shit yourself.